So um, I originally came by Just Be Yoga um, looking not only to try some different yoga because I'd been in another studio for a while, but also to um, experience a place that a lot of the same ethics as, as I practiced in my life. And that was exciting for me because though I had kind of fallen in love with yoga already, um, I always felt a little bit guilty that I knew I was at a studio that, though not intentionally, wasn't welcoming, but um, by, by its own community and by its own cost, could sometimes be prohibitive to certain people. So it was really um, quite an experience to be here um, and see so many different faces, and body types, and um, career fields represented. And it was exciting for me to also meet so many other people who, who had the same ethical motivations, that we were all in different fields um, of serving community and um, kind of finding our pathway. So Just Be Yoga really allowed me to take my practice and, and make it align even more so with my ethics, which was cool. Um, let's see. Practicing yoga has a, had a ton of influences on my life. I used to be a triathlete for many years, and it was um, hard for me to give that up because you kind of get addicted to a particular vision of yourself. Um, but I had several foot surgeries and injuries, and it was really difficult for me to continue doing that. So I found um, yoga practice and that allowed me to be playful and do a lot of things that I hadn't done for years as a kid. So um, there's a lot of joy in that. Movement has always been joy for me. So um, that was really a blessing. And then um, as my practice progressed, interestingly, some of the problems I had progressed and I ended up being diagnosed with some autoimmune diseases. Um, but I've always, at any point, been able to go back to my practice and have a bit of a home, um, though the shape of that home might change a little bit each time. So um, it's, it's, this studio and others have provided me um, a home away from home at very hard times in my life. Um, I lost my grandmother and my dad within nine months of each other, and I, uh, I went through a lot of life changes very quickly, and having that grounding in community and people around me to help me through, as well as a practice that allowed me to feel my feelings and let them go, um, was absolutely essential. I don't think I would have survived without it. Um, how has B allowed me to just be? Um, yeah, weird, just a quirky group of people. Um, <laughs> I think that for me, Finding a home that fully embodies who you are is always a challenge. You you kind of find a bit of a home here and a bit of a home there, and, and I'm still like that. I'm you know an academic during the daytime, and I do all kinds of things on the side. Um, but I've got to practice not only my yoga here, but also gardening and working with community and food systems, and that's my passion that drives almost every element of my life. So that's been really exciting for me to see that become something that, that bloomed here along with with my practice um, and it was just it was easy I think one thing that this particular environment does is say oh you'd like to do that great let's see how we can make that work and then there you are doing what your passion and your skill set is and it's just a wonderful fit because it's a supportive community who appreciates what you bring to it um, I, I don't know see Leslie I, I'm trained as an instructor but I don't teach and um, I've had a lot of fun assisting in classes here. I found um, some of the most self-aware yogis, I think, anywhere. Um, we're not always the fanciest yoga, but we're frequently people who are really um, honest in our practice. And being in that, that room and feeling, um, feeling appreciated and able to give back to the people that you're assisting is, is really an exciting thing. So, just having a little taste of that, even though I don't necessarily always have time to teach yoga, it's been really exciting.